Uh, hey, what's up, guys? We got another crafting video today. Um, we're going to take a look at some gloves for the Stormbrand build. Uh, it's kind of a tough craft, so let's uh, jump into it. See if we can walk through how we did it. Gloves in question are these ones right here. We have Warlord spell damage. Uh, we hit armor and life on an X Slam. I was trying to go for life. Uh, damage while leeching craft. Temple suffix cold res damage against chilled enemies. Warlord calling strike. And a sling brand attachment range. So the first thing we need to do is we need to get a pair of gloves between item level 73 and 79 that have the temple mod on them. And the way we do that is you're going to farm these yourself. Um, see what I do with them. Got them somewhere. Search it. Should have a couple left over. I don't think I used all of them yet. Ah, here they are. You're looking for this. Alva's Memory of Reverse Incursion. So, in order to get the gloves at the proper item level, what we need to do is we need to remove all of our watchstones. Because we start on Burial Chamber. That's where we start the memory at. So if we pull out all of our watchstones. And if we put this memory onto the burial chamber with the watchstones out, it starts as a T7 map. And usually the memory will go up like this or something, or this, or like this. And if it goes up, that's good. That's what you want. Because each of these maps has the possibility to drop the temple mod gloves at the correct item level. And the reason that we want them at the eye level is when we do the Warlord Exalt step, it blocks a lot of possibilities we could potentially hit. Uh, we're going for Calling Strike, which has 250 weight, right? Um, we eliminate the Melee Strike range because of the eye level of the gloves. And we actually eliminate the Stun Avoid because we benchcraft it before the Warlord X. So it, it's uh, 750 total weight with 250, which is a 1 in 3. That's why we go for the lower eye level uh, gloves. It makes getting this part much easier. Um, but before we get into that, once you find the gloves, um, usually what I like to do when the gloves are like this is I like to try to go for a split because if we go for a split, there's a chance that when the gloves do split, you'll get one prefix and one suffix. And you won't need to annul. Um, in our case, when we did do the split, um, I think it came with two suffixes. Yeah, so this pair, this pair right here had two suffixes. And we actually saved it on the annul, the 50-50. So once you have the pair like that, with just the temple suffix mod, there's two options actually. And I didn't really do the second option because I was poor, I don't have any imprints. But once you get the, um, once you get the temple mod by itself, like this, you can lock suffix and scour it, and then you can imprint it, 
in case your Warlord Exalt misses, you can go back to it. Uh, like I said, I didn't have any imprints and I'm poor, so that didn't happen. So from here, what we're going to do is we multi-mod the gloves, and then we benchcraft the suffix. And then we x slam the prefix is full. Again, we do that because if we don't do it... Where that tab go? I lose it? Another chrome. Ah, here it is. If we don't slam the prefix is full, the Warlord X can hit any of this stuff, which introduces a tremendous amount of weight. So that's why we X slam the prefix is full. If you if you try to Warlord Exalt without filled prefixes, the chance of you hitting culling becomes astronomically low compared to a one and three. There you can see what we did. You can see the process. Bring it to the crafting bench. We bench the can't have up to three crafted modifiers craft. And then any random suffix is fine, doesn't matter what it is. X line the prefix is full. We remove the crafted modifiers and then we bench craft the stun avoid. Because that blocks uh, one of the Warlord mods. And then we go for our 1 and 3 uh, Warlord X. There we get the Culling Strike. See it? Now this part that you have to do next is kind of a little bit nerve-wracking. Um, we don't have reforge keep suffix anymore, so you actually have to annul a prefix off once you get the culling strike. Which is uh, a little bit scary, but I mean, it's just the way we have to do it now with the current state of crafting. So we go for an annul. And the gloves were saved. What you would typically do at this point once you have the open prefix you would lock suffix scour to remove all the prefixes and then you would lock suffix and then you would aceling the gloves to try to get a suffix um, I'm playing in SSF so farming acelings takes time I was lazy I like to go for the veiled chaos I don't advise it but um, you have like, you know, 10 or 15 pair of these gloves on hand with the culling strike already, and they're annulled. Uh, go for it. I see no reason not to. So here we, we lock suffix and we go for a veiled chaos orb. We need a suffix, a veiled suffix to go on the gloves. And here they did. We got a Veiled Suffix. This is what you want. Now the odds for unveiling brand attachment range according to Craft of Exile. Um, there's nothing you can block. So it's saying it's about 21% chance. Um, could be a lot more tries. It could be a lot less tries. Then just or not it can't be less than one try of course it could be one try or it could be 20 tries um in the past when i made these gloves i got kind of unlucky i think it took me like 16 on a pair one time 16 tries but uh we get we got very fortunate here extremely fortunate uh, hitting the unveil in one attempt Brand attached range is what we got. That's what we're taking. It's the best uh, best option in our case. There is another modifier that you could potentially hit. 
it would be considered the second best option, I believe. You can hit the global crit chance with the LE damage if you've crit recently. This is a good miss. I would say this is the second best option. But uh, attachment range on brands is always good. It's always good to get as much as you can because what that means is the more attachment range you have, the further your brands will reach out to hit enemies when they're on the ground. And if you're playing on a build that has a lot of attachment range, your brands can hit the entire screen. And that just feels really good to play with. So going for the attached range is the, the ideal outcome and scenario. Uh, at this point, you would lock suffix and cast or reforge the gloves to force uh, warlord percent spell damage. This is what we did here. There's three tiers of it. I think it's from like 21 to 30 percent and the tiers go in three percent increments So we're going to go for a caster reforge. Topics can't be changed, of course. Reforge caster. And we hit T2. Two spell damage. I'm, I'm fine with that. Totally satisfied. Next up here would be to benchcraft mana. And then X slam it with the hopes of getting life. We benchcraft mana because mana blocks the most weight. Blocks 11,000 weight. You bench this and then you X slam. I think we ended up with um, armor and life T2, I believe. I think we ended up with this one. Which is not bad. Uh, you could keep going if you wanted to, but I was totally satisfied with these gloves at this point, so I elected to keep them. It's just very difficult to reforge caster and then slam a good life roll without um, the prefixes filling. It's tough. Doable, but it's hard. You got 56,000 total weight, 11,000 is blocked. So that brings it down to 45,000 weight, and then all of your lifes that you can potentially hit. 9,000 weight total. Um, they're all equally weighted. So that would be a one in nine chance on your X slam to hit any tier life. Say if you were trying to go for T3 or higher, it would become a one in 27, because you divide by three, right? One in nine divided by three goes to a one in 27. So it's hard. It's definitely hard. It's not easy. Uh, going for like a good, a decent life roll on your gloves. It's very tough. But um, I think, yeah, we did end up with the, the hybrid life armor and I was fine with it. On our exalt slam. And once we had that, we just finished the gloves with the damage while leeching benchcraft. If you don't have a source of leech, you could do uh, damage during, or uh, excuse me, damage during flask effect. That one's actually, it works with mage blood because the flasks are always active. Um, alternatively, you could just bench life, you could, uh, bench craft uh, up to 70 life. Uh, also, you could do plus one AOE gems. That one could be good um, if you put auras in your gloves. You also get a little bit of AOE, which helps you get a little bit more explode radius, which is actually pretty nice for clear. So any of those three options are good for the gloves. 
Um, in the future, I'll probably try to make another pair. I do want to try to go for elevated calling strike at some point. Elevated calling is super nice. You get up to 25% increased area of effect if you called recently. But uh, for now, these gloves were a major upgrade over the previous pair. Our previous pair was... These ones right here. They're good, but they're nowhere near as good as our current gloves. There's no attachment range. And these gloves actually have six useful modifiers, whereas these only have five. And then the multi-mod. So yeah, that's how you craft the gloves. Um, probably make some more crafting videos in the future. But I know this is kind of a tricky craft and people have a lot of questions about it. So I figured making a video would be good. But thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'll see you guys in the next crafting video.